and you're watching Yana TV and today we are super thrilled to have an amazing guest that is Mukul Deva and Mukul is an author to 15 books many of them are became bestsellers he's a surreal entrepreneur leadership coach and a former army officer he's also still a mentor to many many people so Mukul thank you so much for being with us here today it's a pleasure and an honor thank you so much Yana I know Mukul also that you are an incredibly gifted writer so I you so. have I mean you have written many many books and I know many of them became bestsellers and you, you really by now are very very efficient with your book writing process and also having said that these days what I see around that there are more and more people who would like to write a book mm -hmm. and and they and they kind of just don't get there for various reasons right so being kind of very accomplished writer yourself what advice could you give this to aspiring writers who really want to get this book out but maybe they have writer's block or they think they don't have time or they don't know how to start or they keep kind of agonizing over the concept like is there an easier way of doing it and actually completing it in a relatively short period of time um, is there an easier way to do it definitely <laughs> can you complete it in a short period of time depends on you okay when people say they don't have time to write a book uh, that's a pretty shoddy excuse actually mm -hmm. because you will always find time for things which are important to you mm -hmm. okay so let's first clear the deck book writing is a is a very lonely job mm -hmm. okay and it requires tremendous amount of resilience inside because when you are sitting on your machine three four hours you're completely on your own there will be days when you will say this is too much of hard work and you want to give up a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. A lot of people read what they've written and they say, I don't know whether it's good or not. So, like I said, it requires discipline and resilience. So, let's say if somebody really wants to write a book and they, you know, they decided to be disciplined, like you write several hours a day, right? When I, I write three to four hours. Three to four hours. Yeah. And I know you write early in the mornings. Well, it depends. Um, generally early in the morning, unless I slept too late. Okay. okay, so your creative hours would be early in the morning since you're very disciplined, like no matter what your life is, you don't, like you haven't been waiting until you retire one day, going to live in the island, and then you write 15 books. You're actually integrating this in your daily routine. Absolutely. Last right. 15 years, one book a year. Well, it's amazing. One book every year. Yep. So now, so let's say there is a person, you know, I know in fact many people out there who said, okay, I'm going to write a book and I'm going to put maybe two, three hours every day writing it. And then they start writing. But then the self-doubt comes in, right? There's the, the, the self-judgment. So what you said, is it good enough? Am I, you know, is somebody gonna like it? You know, there are many books around this topic. How am I gonna stand out? So do you have this process? Or if you don't, what is the advice for people who do have it to, you know, to get over this inner critic part and actually complete the book? I have a very clear process. The first thing I do is, I. In fact, this is all anyone needs to know if they want to write a book. Yes. Separate the what from the how. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should be very clear what your story is. So, how do you do that? Write a two-page outline. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're writing a thriller, fiction, whatever. Uh, create a two-page outline which tells you this is how the story begins, this is how it ends. Mm -hmm. Now what you've done, you know what you're going to do, what you're going to tell the reader. So two page outline, now break it up into chapters. So in each chapter, you will know who is doing what to whom. Okay? Yeah, I mean if it's a thriller. If it's non-fiction, it's the similar thing. What do you wish to communicate to the reader in chapter one, in chapter two? So break down your two page outline into let's say ten chapters. Mm -hmm. Now you're very clear about what the story is which you're going to tell people. Okay? Yes. Step two, now research and validate your story. How do you do that? Just look at the chapter, let's say in, in, in chapter one, a person is flying from Singapore to Korea and doing this, this, this and coming back. Well, you have to research, you should know how many hours is the flight to Korea. Okay. In Korea, what is the weather like at this time? Will he be dressing warm? Will he be dressing mm -hmm. cold? If he's carrying a gun and you've described him wearing a coat or an overcoat and it's hot in Korea at that time, well, your story is not logically true. Yes. So, after you have done your chapters, you do your research, make sure that your story is logically correct. Mm -hmm. But at this point in time, your what is complete, you're ready to write now. 
Okay. Now you focus on how you're going to tell the story. A, a lot of new writers mix up the what and the how. Mm -hmm. That they are thinking of what to tell the reader and how to tell at the same time. By separating the two, you would have made sure that you are writing to a plan. See, Anna, it's very simple. If you're going to build a house, what yes. do you do first? You make a map. Mm -hmm. you, you, you check, you, you test the soil, you make a map. You first decide whether the, the, the structure will actually stand on that soil. You plan out everything, right? Only when it's planned and the plan has been approved, do you start building the house. Yeah, absolutely. So writing a book the is same. the same way. You first create your structure. When the structure is complete, then you write the book. Have you ever had an experience when you had like a structure complete for the book and then you start the how part, you start writing and you stuck and you feel that something is not aligned there? Uh, I have never had that You experience. have never had this experience? Because I create my structure, I research and validate my structure okay. and then I start writing. So what you're saying is basically for people, if they really, it's a bit like a preparation, clearly yeah. from the army, right? If you really prepare very well in advance and you do enough research, and if you put enough thinking into how you want to do this, then there shouldn't be any reason for you to get stuck no. when you actually go into the how part. You will not get stuck, you will not have writer's block, none of this will happen because your structure is complete, you've researched it, you've validated it, it's logically correct. Okay. So to give you an idea, I spend about six months in the first, on the first half of the process. Mm -hmm. Six and months? Six, yes, and, and six months in writing it. Okay. The planning period and the execution period is roughly the same. In fact, generally, I manage to complete the execution, the writing part, in four months. So I have two months where I cool off, keep, keep the book away from me, come back to it again. Check it, see, see what else I could have done to it. Okay. Add a couple of twists, turns, make the story more interesting, make the character more likable or dislikable, whatever. But in 12 months, I'm done. Okay, well, that's a fantastic tips for people who actually want to write books. And Mukul, the final question for today would be, I know you have been very close to your mom. That's so true. I would like to ask you, what is the biggest lesson that you have learned from him? From my mother? Yes. Hmm. You know, I'll share with you a story. Please. When I was in the eighth grade, I one day had a conversation with my mother. I told her that I want to leave school. She said, why? She was shocked. She was a doctor and she valued education. So she said, why? I said, because when I grow up, I want to write books. <laughs> so she looked at me, she said, any fool can do that. <laughs> that was the biggest takeaway from my mother, that whatever I wish to do, it is possible as long as I believe in myself. She was a very strong and resilient person, five feet in height, but 10 feet tall. And she always gave us this belief that whatever you wish to do, you can do it. Coupled with the fact that no matter what you do or how you do it, nothing will work as per plan. You cannot control what life brings to you, but you can control how optimistically you handle it. And that, in the end, is what I became. Well, and clearly you became a great person, very successful with Golden Heart, who also helps many others. So thank you so much, Mukul, for being with us here today. And that was Mukul Deva on Yana TV sharing with you how you can get that book out into the world. So do remember to separate the what and the how, prepare in advance, do the structure, research, and then the execution would be very easy. And I'm personally really looking forward to read that book that you gonna write. And of course, do share this video with friends. We always highly appreciate it. Join our Yana TV community. Share with us if you have published the books. We would like to read them. And stay tuned. I talk to you next week. What really helped me to decide what to focus on was um, can I see myself, you know, doing whatever I was providing in that particular business for the next 20, 30 years?